But we have to take the responsibility to forge ahead, to begin to work on those methods. How do we do that? We start at home. We start right at home first. You start in your mosque, you start in the synagogue, you start in the church. Because if you don't take the responsibility of educating the people, then no one knows. I was in a store the one day, and it was two years ago, and a woman, a Christian woman, came up to me. I was in Target, and a Christian woman came up to me, and she took a Bible and hit me in the back of the head. And I look, and when she hit me in the back of the head, I turn around and I look, and I said, I hope I don't have to fight up here in Target. But after she hit me in the back of the head, I said, why did you hit me? She said, because you're a demon, because you're antichrist. And I said, why? She said, I seen you on television, you're a Muslim. And you believe in Muhammad and you don't believe in Jesus Christ. And I looked at her and I said, what other problems do you have? And she said, that's the one problem. She said, you either have to repent and come to Jesus or I'm going to hit you again. So I did. I always carried the Quran. I pulled out the Quran and I said, I'll make you a deal. If I read you something in the Quran and it goes against what you believe as far as Jesus Christ being the Messiah and born in the Immaculate Conception, you can hit me again in my head. I read in Surah 3 about Jesus, and she looked at me, she said, is that in your book? I said, yes, here's the book. And we sat there and talked for two hours in Target. We moved over where the lawn chairs are, and we sat down right in Target. And for two hours, we sat there, and we compared the Quran and the Bible, and when we left there, she reached up, she gave me a hug, she said, don't, don't be mad at me because I hit you. And I said, I can never be mad at you. You know, we have to take every opportunity to educate. That's our responsibility. We must take every opportunity to come forward and say to individuals, you may have a problem with me, but I'm not going to run from you because I am your brother. I am your sister. I am your sister and brother of the faith of the book because the book, the Quran teaches us to be friends, to abide and be with those of the book. If you're the book, I'm going to be with you. Now, if you believe in 50 other gods, I can't be with you. But if you believe in one God, I can be with you. Those are the type of things that we have to look at.